Harry end up with none. Sussex burning with envy as Queen grants Prince William rare privileges. Prince William is in line for a very quick change when his father Prince Charles becomes king, a constitutional expert. The Duke of Cambridge, 39, was out on royal duties this week as he visited Wales with Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, 40. The couple showed off their baking skills at a youth centre during the trip, which was to celebrate St. David's Day. William rolled out some dough and cut it out in the kitchen at the HWB Torvine in Blyne Avon. The Duke quipped to the group of youngsters watching him cook, I'm under a lot of pressure here. During their visit to the town, William and Kate also planted a tree under the Queen's Green Canopy initiative to mark her platinum jubilee in 2022. The historic 70-year reign of Britain's longest-serving monarch is being celebrated with an exciting program of events this year, culminating in an extended bank holiday weekend in June. As Her Majesty marks the impressive milestone, questions have been raised about her succession when Prince Charles takes over as monarch. Now, a constitutional expert has claimed that William is in line for a very quick change when his father becomes king. Dr. Robert Morris from University College London's Constitution Unit discussed the Queen's succession. When asked if William will simply take over as Prince of Wales when Charles accedes to the throne, he said, yes, but that's not automatic. But we expect that Prince Charles would make that change very quickly. Of course, he's not a minor as Charles had been. Charles was made Prince of Wales in 1969 when he reached his maturity. I imagine that will all be done pretty quickly. The main part of the role of the Prince of Wales as heir to the throne is to support the monarch. He is also a crucial figurehead for the UK's armed forces, and its ties with other countries, both abroad and at state banquets for visiting foreign leaders. William has shown his credentials to inherit the Prince of Wales role, with a string of royal tours under his belt. One of the Duke's most symbolic trips was his diplomatically sensitive visit to Israel and the Palestinian territories in 2018. As well as the responsibilities William will inherit under his future role, there are also financial implications to consider. William and Kate Middleton could be considering a move to Windsor as they plan for the future education of Prince George. Ingrid Seward, author of Prince Philip Revealed, a man of his century, told Newsweek that the move was certainly a possibility as the Cambridges have been looking at schools in the Windsor area. Seward commented, there are a lot of very good schools around Windsor. There's one that's a co-educational school with weekly boarding. That's the one I think they'll probably be attracted to. The speculation comes as Prince George, 8, enters his fifth year at school this September. They're in a fortunate position in that they don't have to decide right now. They've got time to see how he turns out, Seward told Newsweek. On William and Kate's potential relocation to Windsor, Katie Nichol, author of Harry and Meghan, Life, Loss, and Love, told OK. Magazine that it could all come down to traffic as a deciding factor. Both William and Kate are very hands-on with the school runs, she said of their current situation living at Kensington Palace and Prince George and Princess Charlotte going to school in South London. Whilst it may seem like a short drive, they have both found traffic to be a huge factor. Sometimes it can take an hour to get the kids to school and make their way back, and that's a long time out of their days. Both William and Kate like to spend as much time as possible with their family at their country home Amna Hall on the Sandringham estate belonging to Queen Elizabeth II in Norfolk. As Sewer told this isn't always convenient. She said, it just makes sense because as much as they love Norfolk it's so far away. If William and Kate did decide to move closer to Windsor they could become neighbours to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle who still retain Frogmore Cottage, as an official residence, though are currently lending it to their cousin Princess Eugenie. Current